viewers. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Hydrophobia Prophecy. Now this game was originally released back for the Xbox 360 and was, as I believe that I've read so far, not terribly well received. So the designers went back and, well they didn't remake the game, but I think about 80% of it is new on the PC here, which is what version I'm playing. Now. This will be a blind let's play. I have tested a bit of it to make sure it will record okay. Uh, so unfortunately I do have one of the Chivos for Steam unlocked already. But uh, we're going to go through here and... Yes, I am sure. Uh, let's play normal. Try something a little new. Nanocell head scientist Roderick Norton about the devastation of the global population flood and how Nanocell's technology is poised to deliver a brighter future. The catastrophic effects of the population flood can be alleviated if we keep our faith in science, our nanotechnology. All right, so sleeping pills, new object, a sedating antihistamine used to temporarily relieve difficulties in sleeping contains diphenhydramine, specifically used to cause drowsiness and decrease the time required to fall asleep, promotes natural sleep and calmness. So our character is probably an addict. The deserts bloom with food for all mankind, and our network tonight will take us one step closer to that. Aw oh man, even in the future nothing works. Checkpoint passed. Ooh, I went from the couch to the window. Like a boss, viewers. Like a boss. So everything seems to be logoed. Out here. Oxford University. Oh, okay, I'm, I am Kate Wilson. I have a PhD in systems engineering, a diploma, and a two-year major. Two years? Let's see, August 2046. So we are in the future. So I guess I should just probably go around. Right, so it looks like she's an avid rock climber, which makes sense, given she's apparently not a fan of the water, if that nightmare has anything to do with anything. And I can't examine the offline thing. It's good to know in the future there'll still be cold pizza. And dirty dishes. Wait, do you... One, two... So that's at least three ovens. That's probably another... that's a stove. And no dishwasher? Man, I hope you didn't pay much for this place. Because you got hosed. Oh, a book. Classical Engineering. From the Industrial Revolution to the city at sea on a new frontier of nano-engineering, Jay Hulahan guides us through mankind's remarkable journey of engineering. Citing key lessons from history, Hulahan explores the notion of engineering as savior, and suggests that, although our world may be beyond repair, hope remains if we seek to build a different kind of future. Okay, so I hit enter, and ooh, it spins. Everything's better with spinning, viewers. A must-have for every engineer. Okay. There's some kind of subtle touches so far, and I don't know what those collectibles do. Oh, here we go. Scoot! I might get the wrong idea if you keep calling me when you're off duty, Miss Wilson. My system just went down. Anything I should know about? The party of the century is happening on your doorstep and you're staying at home. I'm gonna check on the network. You know I don't pay overtime, right? My system is down. Do -do -do -do. I'm sorry, neighbors. Character profile scoot. Can I jump? Uh, space bar doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. Control doesn't do anything. Paintings we haven't hung up. 
else we got over here? This is a pretty nice apartment with a lot of cool pizza. Backpack. Oh, that's shiny-ish. Documents. Subject sponsorship from Dr. Stuart Wilson to Kate Wilson. Kate, the first rule of good science is to secure good investments so you can focus on the task at hand and excel. You may be on the periphery, but as a queen of the world citizen, you have a pro queen of the world. I mean, that's the ship we're on. Citizen, you have a profound responsibility to excel, and therefore pass on my investment to those who are central to the cause. We all have a choice to make. Quite literally, we are either part of the solution or part of the problem. So I'll hear no more protests about the rent. Modesty is a virtue, but it can also be counterproductive. Please remember to call your mother, Dad. Oh, Dad's not giving us a break on the rent. Um, okay, so there's a nice view. There's a treadmill. Oh, what do we got here? Climber's choice, weighted wristband. Fully adjustable with a contour design for a custom fit on your ankles or wrists. Soft terry cloth interior absorbs moisture and is non abrasive on your skin. Reflective trim for better visibility at night. I guess that's for training because it appears to me you probably wouldn't want to wear something heavy and weighted while you're actually climbing rocks. Oh, more stuff. Roy the donkey. Wherever you go, Roy can come too, but please remember he's smaller than you. What he lacks in size makes up for enjoy, so there's no better friend than little old Roy. So there will be cults in the future. Oh, there's myself, or I guess my character is a little girl with Roy. Graduating, mom and dad. Can I use the bike? Uh, ooh, elliptical. Really? He really hasn't changed much. Climber's choice, hand grips. Get a grip. Strengthen your grip and forearm. We've been the most demanding overhang. Sturdy spring coil resistance and padded non-slip handles for extra comfort. Okay, she likes to climb. I get it. Checking in from Jean. I guess, is that Jean now? This is from Dad again? Blah, 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 blah. No, that's Mom. Okay, so it is Jean. Jean Wilson. Dear Katie, I just wanted to check in, really. I know you're very busy, so just get back to me when you can. Nothing much to report on here, really. I'm making your favorite chicken pie for dinner. Perhaps we'll tempt your father out of his study for half an hour or so. Then I'll take the leftovers down to the shelter tomorrow. I'm still reading your old storybooks to the children, but I've had to start sneaking them in. Even your father frowns at me for doing it. Anyway, I suppose you're busy with preparation for the anniversary. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of you on TV. Love, Mum. Alright, well, this has been quite the object-filled apartment. Where do you sleep? Where is your bed? Uh, it's probably through this door here I can't open for some reason. Yeah, that's pretty well locked, so we'll assume. It could be a decent size too, but for the moment I'm just confused. Oh, bouncy camera. Actually, maybe in here? Nope, also off limits. Okay, really, we get it. She's a climber. Jeez. And hot pepper. Okay, avant-garde, your apartment is not. Welcome on board the Queen of the World. Celebrating ten auspicious years. Please stand clear. Shuttle arriving at station. Kate, listen. Your system failing hardly amounts to a security threat. Just let other people do their jobs for a change. Well, there's no harm in checking, is there, Scoot? Fine, fine. Look, I'm too busy to argue with you. Where are you? I'm just by the, uh, security post in D-Cell. D-Cell? What are you doing down there? I'm working so that you can have the night off. Scoot, I don't need a night off. Well, that's never good. Device explosion imminent. <laughs> Thanks for that warning. You know, the ominous... Beeping. If these were smart terrorists, there'd be another bomb on the brakes. Ouch, still a rough landing. Kate! Uh, Kate! Uh, uh, Jenny? Who's Jenny? 
Uh, Scoot, uh, is that you? Of course it's me. Are you okay? We can you move? I think so. Well, now would be a good time. I like Scoot. He's sarcastic. Uh. Jesus! Where am I? The hull is breached. A deck is flooding. A deck? What am I doing on A deck? Uh. Okay, now I can jump. Um, ladder? Uh. Okay. Alright, we've established this the line, so. Now, where am I? Maybe this way? Oh, okay, I can actually. Oh, so all this stuff's actually kind of climbable. That's neat. Ow. I'm gonna hit my fall on debris. Why would you have that with one hand? Yeah, it's blown open. That's a nice coincidence. How? How did this happen? All I know is the ship was attacked. Attacked? The shuttle plaza. You can get to the upper decks from there. Go! Quickly! Okay, but... What about you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Desal wasn't hit. At least not yet. But I'll leave when you're safe. You know, it's too bad that they showed Scoot, because you can make the theory that he's just in her head as a result of immense childhood trauma. This door is malfunctioning. It's not your problem, Kate. Just get to the shuttle plaza. No, I have to fix it. Metals, after escaping the elevator shaft, examine the malfunctioning door. Wow. Obviously, the threshold for greatness in this game is somewhat low. We bring life. We bring hope. Also fire. We are nano cell. Also fire. We got here. Ten year anniversary party, the queen of the world. Well, it's always a party, isn't it? Door, tap the map. Jesus! Who did this? <laughs> what? How the hell did I know? So, uh, journal. Okay, attacked. We've been attacked. Jesus, I was almost killed if it wasn't for Scoot. What did Scoot do? Did Scoot put the locks in the elevator? Did Scoot blow open that door for you? Who could have done this? The damage seems to be coming from inside the ship. They're already inside the house. How did they get on board? I've got to get off this deck. I have to get out. You sound vaguely claustrophobic. What else can we got here? Okay, dev feedback? Alright, sure. So I hit tab. So I guess I'm that... I rotate? Oh, no, I cannot rotate this. Oh wait, hang on. So zoom... Objective view... Alright, so... Access the shuttle, camera, ammo, air pockets. 3D. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. How do I... Rotate. Oh, okay, so I move back and forth. Ooh, lots of platforming in this one, I think, viewers. It's enough of that. Man, there were a lot of explosions that trashed this place. Shit! Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen, lady. <laughs> Not on your best day. Scoot! My security level has been reset! I'm trapped down here! Oh, crap! Somebody's breached the network! The security system's down. You'll have to hack back in. I can't! My mapping programs have been wiped! I'll need a new hack module! Okay, scanning. There's a console on the level above. Uploading now. Hang on. How could they hack the system without us knowing? They couldn't. That's what worries me. Wait. No, but the whole idea of a hack is to... Isn't it supposed to be subtle and unnoticed? Nothing's hack-proof. Sorry, guys. Even in the future, people are stupid. Okay, another malfunction. Lots of security. Okay. Right. Download the hack program from the central console. Hmm, you're very dedicated to your work, buddy. Officer! I need to use that console! 
Or alternatively, you're probably dead. I'm calling hey. it down for Yep. Uh, he's dead! Yates is dead! What? The monitors! There's some kind of sick message! It's being broadcast all over the ship. I'll look into it. Just get the hack program and get the hell out of there. Officer Yates is dead. Murdered. I found his body. How long was I unconscious for? There's only a skeleton crew down here. Everyone else is celebrating the upper decks. Yates didn't stand a chance. The killer could still be nearby. Save the world. Kill yourself. What the hell is happening? I'm not even going to try to mimic that accent because I don't know what kind of accent she's going for here. Subject briefing from Chief C. Billingham to Officer P. Yates. P. Yates. Officer Yates, I know I promised you downtime for the celebrations, but you know the duty to our ship comes first. So while I'm inter interrogating this punk, I need you to step up and keep watch at the station. Yeah, I want to be kept informed of anything suspicious. Command might have classified Mila as trivial, but down here we follow our guts, not a textbook. Okay, thanks. And I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. <laughs> Okay, so I can't do anything with that yet. Use. Info. Mavi hacking module. When the user does not possess the correct frequency key, they can attempt to manually override a system firewall with this module. Primarily used by security engineers for system maintenance. Okay. Okay, I've got it. We're gonna have to hack back into our own system. It's the only way to regain your security access. Now get the security control. It's back past the elevators. Oh. No, I just found a smiley face thing. I sure also heard another bomb. Wait a second. What is that? It's a bomb. What are you talking about? Things don't beep like this when they're good. And they don't get faster. Oh and shit, they... Kate, run! Kate! Damn it! I'm all right, Sku. I'm okay. Ah, the door won't open. I can't get out. The access circuits are fried. You'll have to hack the emergency release. Yay! Smiley face is still there. Kill yourself. That is terribly lame. What do we got here? Queen of the World replica. Oh yeah, so it's definitely a ship. It's a huge ship. Modeled in meticulous detail, this 100% stainless steel replica of the Queen of the World has been specially commissioned for the 10th anniversary celebrations. There's no better way to show your pride in our noble city at sea as we continue our voyage of progress to deliver hope for all mankind. So here also again? Yeah. What else we got here? Another document. Title, Vision of the Future. Robert Howland, page 1 of 2. Fifteen years ago, our founding fathers had a vision of a glorious city at sea. A city of people living dignified lives, united by their belief in the promise of progress. A, meritoc a, merito a meritocratic and noble society, a floating sanctuary in a world drowning in atrocities. At that time, our founding fathers were four, but just over a decade ago, a fifth visionary joined our great dream, and the queen of the world was born. That visionary was Nanocell. Now, can I, is there a page two I can go to? Scroll down further. Nope, okay. Damn! I can't get to it! Is there another way around? Well, maybe you had to try walking through the fire, you'd be doing better. Alright, and jump! Uh, ah! What the hell are you doing? Well, you did say go to the show plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. Something about a gunfire down there. Yep, yeah, definitely some gunfire. What the down hell's there. going on down there? I guess the security force found the bad guys. She likes to climb, and also she was in the circus as a youth, which is why she can balance on things like this. Okay, jump in the chosen direction. Um, which am I supposed to jump to? Oh, probably this way. Is that way? Oh god. They got that. Excuse right. me, miss. You do know it's a crime to hack the ship's systems, don't you? 
I suppose you're going to report me to Billingham. Nah, it's your first offense. Just keep it quiet. I've got a reputation here, you know. Okay. It's up to me the mouse here to do this. Just like the good old days, King. Now, back to the main assignment. Back across here, I guess. Careful, Kate. If you die, my workload doubles. Ha! Okay, Scoot is by far the best part of this so far. Really? How the hell did they get on board? That's kind of neat. I made a couple more. Yeah. Neat. Okay, so the platforming isn't so bad. So far. So far. Emphasis on so far. That could change rapidly. Oh, found another document. Subject review from Ben Johnston to Mark Harrigan. Thanks for looking out for me. I still can't believe I'm here. Queen of the world citizen. I've already made an impression with Mr. Grimley. My optimizations have got the cycle of converters running 16% more efficiently. I'll be up for review in no time. Even you must be getting a little bit excited about the anniversary. We're going to have the spotlight of the world upon us. When we blow up, it's going to be awesome. Climb a ladder. I take issue with that. What's here? Queen of the World Anniversary Globe. Manufactured from the finest hand blown glass with an elegant stainless steel base, this beautiful globe charts a decade long voyage across the oceans of the world on board the first truly global city. Okie dokie. Now, where's my goal here? Objective Security Console 3D. Okay, so I'm... did I go the wrong way? I kind of get the sense I did. Use, okay. Can't even slide down a ladder with any kind of speed. Ah, here we go. Hell, the man upstairs must like you. I don't know about that. I got dropped on an elevator, almost blown up. I had to climb across beams. I'm trapped down here, the hull's breached. No, this can't be happening, it's not real. I have to escape, I have to get out. You're directly below security control. You just need to find a way up. I didn't sign up for this. I did. Save the world, kill yourself. They've had a lot of chance to plant this graffiti while they've been busy blowing stuff up. Security feed, Office 101. Oh, cool. Neat wave. The water effects are pretty good. And the physics of it. And graphics I've seen better, but... Whoa. Okay. This is Chief Billingham. Respond if you hear me. Billingham? What the hell? Alright, so I guess we're climbing. Repeat, this is Chief Billingham! 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> My arms are shaking. Go, 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 go. Christ. I suggest you take the stairs from now on. Get over here. Search body. 1798, Malthus opens the debate. Author Andrew Whitting. The story of the great population flood begins in 1798 with the publication of Thomas Malthus's now infamous An Essay on the Principles of Population. His argument was clear. Population would always accelerate beyond the capacity of resources to sustain, to sustain it, and his analysis was influential, not least in the works of Darwin and Marx. During the following two centuries, Malthus was all but disregarded, as advancements in technology allowed resources to be artificially increased to feed the growing population. However, at the turn of the 21st century, as the world became out preoccupied with climate change, it began to dawn on scientists that Malthus's dire predictions had not been wrong, they had merely been delayed. Alright, so I assume this floating city was probably created to... 35, 119 pounds, occupation kitchen hand? Wanted by the Queen of the World Security Force, okay. Chief! Your goddamn security system's got me trapped in here! <laughs> I'm detecting water behind the door. Okay, I need side scan. I can use that to open it. Chief! Where's the nearest console? Upstairs! <laughs> the office above me! Go! Now! Oh, I'm gonna let you burn. Not the boss, but you can't tell me what bad to do. Billingham needs an engineer to come to his rescue. <laughs> this is priceless. Okay. Stairwell access, that's straightforward. There's an encryption on the door lock. What the hell? Here's my database. Okay, excellent. Download the site scan module from the working console in order to save the chief. Okay. So systems Engineer 2, inspect the encrypted door and security control before finding the frequency key. Panther, dive under the closing door before the corridor floods on your way. Nice. Systems Engineer, okay. Okay, so I can't go that way. I'm on fire again. Gotta find a way up there, Kate. Oh, here we go. Thank God I the engineer with an amazing ability to rock climb. Okay, I'm fire again. Okay, can I go that way? Okay. I can jump across. Oh, puzzle solving. No, oh, okay, not really. Dead body. Epitaph. Okay. No. It's log. Ah, here we go. Suicide note? Mark Harrigan. For the longest time, I have watched in contempt as the virulent masses march our once proud species closer to the brink, living only for this day when I would be the agent of their extermination. Now, with the blood still warm on his young face, I find myself infected by their pathetic nature. Crippled by the weakness of their guilt, I have but one option left. Here lies a once proud Malthusian with a tally of three reprobates, plus one more. Save the world, kill yourself. Okay. Chief Scoop McGraw to Commander Jake Gartland. Commander Gartland, we've completed our checks of the security systems and the borders are secure. Of course, there is an increase in immigration offenses in the weeks leading up to the anniversary. After all, it is the party of the century. All system hackers and people, people smugglers have been identified and reported to Billingham. We've done our part. I suggest you ensure he does his. Well, obviously not on account of, you know, everything is exploding. So, I'm not going that way, obviously. Run up any higher? No, okay. Uh, so. No other door or anything? Uh, 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 Can't seem to 
get up any higher going that way. No. I guess I could use a ladder like a normal human being. Oh, he's still swimming with that chair. Good on you. Oh, wow. A fail? Again. Your inability to navigate normal human problems like a small jump or a ladder really kind of bugs me. Malfunction. Flashlight off, I guess. All right, so we made it inside. Let's grab that security key thing I need. Shit! Shit! <laughs> no, he's in trouble. Frequency key, upper security complex. Use this frequency key to locate the cipher for the upper security complex. Once you have downloaded the cipher, you'll be able to unlock the encrypted doors in the area. Scoot, I found something. Looks like a frequency key. Ah, it's a Mavi E Vision program. Let's see if I can decode it. Cipher. Jesus. Looks like mission orders for the terrorists. The code for the local door controls. It's embedded in the file. How long have they been planning this? Goddamn engineers. Move it! Kinda of whiny, you know that? Alright, so... Let's see if we can save your sorry butt. And we can't. You know, I don't like you much, Mr. Angry Leader Guy. You're not really inspired.